Hey y'all, welcome to The Daily Devo. Today, I want to remind you to count the cost. So Luke 14, 28, it says this, but don't begin until you count the cost. For who will begin construction of a building without first calculating the cost to see if there's enough money to finish it? The context of this passage has everything to do with being a disciple of Jesus. If you read above the passage, he says that you and I must carry our own cross if we want to be his disciple. And then if you read below the passage, he says, you can't become my disciple without giving up everything you own. Here's the heartbeat behind Jesus' words. Following Jesus isn't cheap. As you and I strive to be disciples, men and women who follow Jesus, here's what you need to know. Belief in Jesus as Lord and Savior, y'all, that's free. But becoming more like Jesus, that's going to cost you. The Bible teaches that where a man treasure is, that's where his heart will be also. For many of us, our money, unfortunately, is our treasure. And when money becomes our treasure, it can become an idol. With that said, let me be clear, money is not bad. A mentor told me one time that money is neither bad nor good, it's simply a tool. A tool that can be used to make a major kingdom impact. So as we wrap up, let me leave you with a question. Have you counted the cost of not striving to become more like Jesus? See, you and I should allow Jesus to own every area of our lives, including our finances. I want to encourage you to stop looking at yourself as the owner of your finances and realize that you're simply the manager. But if you decide to take the posture of an owner, what's that going to cost you?